back to another section of Danganronpa 2 with by despair. And yeah, once again, not so much of goodbye despair, more like hello again despair. Because last time, um, Nekomaru got really injured. And we are, we do not know if he's going to survive this because of Akane, and we discovered that there are some bugs in the on the island that make us sick with despair sickness. And I don't know what the fuck this is behind that. So I think we're going to try to solve what the fuck is going behind those despair bugs uh, during this session. For now, let's talk to everyone. We are all reunited here in the hospital because we are um, worried about those who were infected with it. I know. I'm worried about those three. But is there a chance that Mika will catch it while she is tending to them? Yeah, I was thinking. Did you consider, consider tattoo? Yeah, I was thinking. I love tattoo. Now that we have this, uh, <laughs> It's not like I monetize anyway. Now that we have COVID, well, spreading over the world. Uh, that's my main concern. Jesus, is, it resembles an endless in the Demon King who wants to unleash lonely God to wipe out and a large country. <laughs> there is no reason it will work against me, the Supreme Overlord of Ice. <laughs> Maybe chance. Is Nikan gonna attend to all of Nikita's needs? Dude, dude! Please, start thinking with, you, with your other head for once, please. I know you're horny, but this is not the moment for that. <laughs> please, read the room. <laughs> Exactly! Now's not the time to say stuff like that. <laughs> oh god. Looks like things are getting very strange. <laughs> not the time for us to do our best. We need to stand firm until Nekomaru comes back. Don't overwork yourself too much though. Your wound hasn't fully healed yet. <laughs> hm. I can't slack off now. That is his sure look dangerous. Nakito, Akami, and Ibuki are reacting normal. If it is pressed to anyone else, a killing is bound to happen. I tell you. Based on your observed behavior, I cannot deny that. Demo. But those guys aren't being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they decide bothering us. So not. <laughs> Hiyoko. Yeah, that one's pretty. <laughs> I know. It can be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. Make sure? What do you mean? Yes. I don't get it. We need to isolate them from us so they won't spread the disease. Isolate? Antasa. If you can cure it, the only option is to stop it from spreading. We're not first clear enough that. Still, since isolating them a bit too harsh. Oh, Hinata. No, it's Hajime. It's not Hajime. Ah, Hajime. You. It is obvious that <laughs> this game takes place before COVID. <laughs> you don't know anything. Hey, if everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? You're right. There is no way we should allow it to spread. H hold on a sec. No, no. Isolation. You mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Chiaki, don't tell me you also agree with this. It's to prevent the killing. As long as the disease is monochromous motive, if we just ignore it, Even 
if we quarantine them. Who's gonna take care of all of them? The six? My cats don't stay here anyway. She's been touched infected all over, so it's possible she's already caught the disease. But, but there is no way we can leave her all by herself. No! Then what don't you stay to? Huh? Are they? Now to think about it, you touched them when you took their temperature, right? Head over to the model before you catch the disease. Uh, I'm sorry, we are forcing this upon you like this. No, what everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Arigato. Thank you, but of you, I won't let your feelings go to waste. I'll make sure to find out the mystery of the disease while you are all left, leaving me and Fuyuhiko at the hospital. I never expected it would turn out like this. Takuyo. It's not like it's their fault, it's that Pastor Monokoma's fault. Ch I can't believe he actually arranged something as irritating as a disease. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> I finally finished fine changing and I was resting in the rooms. 
just chat to... Huh? Oh, you know. Uh, I know. I must have love to get friends to bring back later. <laughs> everyone is so kind. I'm so glad everyone is so trustful toward their friends. Yeah. Well, like I said. <laughs> That Nekomaru is not in the hospital. Or that that is what I understood. Huh? I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing it. Earlier I discussed it with Fuyuhiko and we decided to we'll take turns resting. That's right. That's why I came in to the on car room on the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, so I s uh, sudden drowsiness overtook me. So I was asleep, which is a good thing, but my body feels really heavy for some reason. No, it's not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... <laughs> oh my god! Mika. Mika, enjoy my wife with this game, but this is too much. got off me, grabbed my shoulders and began shaking me intensely. Somehow that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I consciousness. Uh, I'm so glad. I thought you die. Me too. I seriously thought I was gonna die. That doesn't mean you can claim on top of me. <laughs> then I'll be on the bottom next time. That's seriously not what I'm talking about. Oi, oi. Hey. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Fuyuhiko. No, this. This is. I really hope you didn't get the wrong idea. Masaka. Were you guys sleeping together? <laughs> Bastard, you guys are fucking high school students. Yeah, fucking high school students. <laughs> Seriously, you got this all wrong. So... We don't have time for that. Nagato, he's in danger. Danger? What? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't ready. Leapt out of the bed and ran out of the uncle. Hajime, now's not time for you to be pitched in the tent. We need to have a few things 
seriously, I'm not. <laughs> Will you hit when I chase after me, Ken, as you run into Negita's room? I didn't see me to react at all. Masako! There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement is okay, right? Sawa, Sawa! Sawa, Sawa! Damn it, he's totally waiting for it. Kso! This looks very bad. What What do we do? Mika! You're the nurse! Mika! Is Nagito alright? <laughs> it looks like his breathing has returned. Really? <laughs> but still, his condition is unpredictable and that's what I need likely. How light is that? Is it sweet potato soft? Yeah! If so, that's pretty hitty light. <laughs> Plants and interfere! Oh. Hey, look! It's a Nagito mode. Mouth moving? Nagito's mouth moving? J you're right, he might be trying to say something. <laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan softly little her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Isuna. Apparently, his condition has improved and he feels quite refreshed. Um, he's not gonna say that Nagito has to lie with disease. It's really crappy. Suga. But what's going to happen if he just dies? You're not going to have a, la a class trial, right? Ah, don't talk like that! <laughs> Naito, he's never going to die. I will say him by any means necessary. Suga. I see. Got it. Can I leave Nagito's life to you? <laughs> yes! Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to town to Nagito. Stay here any longer, I might just get in the way. Ah. Then follow me. While you were resting, the goods arrived. Right. Gotta shove them to you. The goods? You're not something dangerous, right? Tonikaku. Let's go to the lobby. Okay, let's go to the lobby. Right? It looks like a monitor on a camera unit. Hey, what is this? <laughs> Perfect timing. The blue light is blinking. Does something happen when it blinks? Seeing is believing, as they say. Try pressing the button just below that light. I just have to press the button. I did what for you, he could say to press the button. Yes. Hajime? <laughs> Loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connect. Katsuishi? Then this is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate, he was talking about. Very nice of you, Zoda. Yosha! Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about it? This is what I have been working on. <laughs> Remember that alley with all those shady looking street boots? That's where I found this. It's a surveillance camera for house household use, and I just took it a little. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, hmm. Naruhodo na. It's true. It's true. We don't have to worry about getting infected with this. Zozo! So, it may be a hassle, but we will be contacting each other with this form from now on, okay? This was the only a test room this time, so I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see ya later. Nice of you, Oksada. <laughs> Kazu 
Usually she left, so I'll join the rest of ah. The surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcast or live on the monitor. So he prepared two of these sets and swapped each of your cameras. I see. By swapping the cameras, his monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Apparently he also modified it a little. He widened its narrow communication range beyond just whole household use. <laughs> Am I all? But even so, he still had a limit, so apparently the signal can reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can communicate between the hospital and the motel? <laughs> you didn't notice? He was contacting you just now from the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But you're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can reach them when we need to? Ah. I talk the same thing, so we arrange times for us to contact each other. I would set it up for, commu for us to communicate 30 minutes after one of Thomas morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared. The suspected of the hero of an enormous organization. Huh? Hmm. What is it? Nothing. Ding dong bing bong. Oh, I hope no nothing happens to Sora if he has to be alone in the. Oh, I'm sure it's some. Now I'm thinking that for sure Sora is going to die in the music video. I hope that's not the case. Eto, Kibongami ne gakuen shugaku roko jikouin tadaima. Kogo juji ni nari mashita. Nami no oto o kiki nagara. It's that time already, huh? Now then, shall I sleep tonight? <laughs> Are you planning to use the own call room with a certain someone again? Like I said, it's not what it looks like. is a facility for sick people, so it's not for lodgings or young romantic crises, you know? You two, what are you talking about? Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice in there, right? Is he talking about it? Uh, hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied overnight, stays when non patients are expressly, expressly provided. This is you often see inside hospitals. You can stay overnight here. No, Nintendo. There is one passion who needs to be a call. Hey, oh, man, you are talking about Nagito, right? Then I will allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry. Hurry up and get out of here. Takuyo. Hospital precaution, my ass. He should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay the night, and there is no way we can make Mika leave. Shikatane, na. I guess we have no choice. She'll head back to our cottages then. Why? Why are cottages? Well, it's... they're really far. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mika, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. So, Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I am a little worried. No, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. But what's the point of me getting so worried? Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I go to the hospital right away. I feel badly with Nikan alone. I 
because for now I should try to get some sleep. and insist that he try making this pastry's fist shape because they will sell better. Once that happens, he will happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. And as a final touch, make this pastry's taiyaki. Okay, we need to have finished making taiyaki. Monokuma wa okurishimasu. Please don't close Monokuma's cooking class. Thank you. Really enlightening. 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 お前らグッドモーニング。本日も絶好の南国日和ですよ。さて、今日も全体気分で張り切っていきましょう。行きましょう。I'm worried about Mikan and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Yo! Yo, you came early today. You aren't the one who's early. Ah. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to be contact. Wanna go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about coffee, so... Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still... Light is blinking. Sotetto. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. Press the button underneath the blinking light, and the monitor instantly isn't doing really it up. Looks like the camera and the monitor have no problem making the connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. Yes. See my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on the run too. I can totally see your broadcast faces. Maybe best if I tell the others about Nagi's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? No. No. You're all here except for Hiyoko. What happened to Hiyoko? <laughs> <laughs> it seems 
perhaps we all look like cover antinomies in the eyes of that girl. Or not. She has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that we she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She, she's even being cautious around the others in the motel. Looks like they are also in a testy situation. No, no. So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito is actually not in serious danger. Oh my, nah. I already know he's seriously dangerous. Yeah. No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. No, no. What did you say? This But he's going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better. Oi, oi. First, Nekomaru, then Nagito. That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't say. <laughs> you really can't say? That's impossible! You know me, what are you doing on that side? Because <laughs> it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital. I say I don't even know what's going, what the, what's going on there. <laughs> you are really pissing me off. Like, why does this stupid stuffy animal need to be cautious about a disease? Yeah, me did you! It's horrible. It's a dangerous disease that can never destroy the island. So, until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be at this time. If I could respond to Monomi, if you hit the head of the convention. Is that good enough? The cheerest of an animal? She seriously pissed me off. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm going not to eat cloth. You he could practical as bad as words, words before he went inside. Anyway, all we, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, what can I relax when I am in a hospital? I pace back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the- Ah! Oh, no. Oh. Ah! Oh, thank god. Uh, I pace back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times and time just kept passing by. Ding dong bing bong. Okay, a whole day passed by. So it feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over, and now it's night time. It's now, it's now, na <laughs> and now it's night time already. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth though. But before we go back, can we check in Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. You're not gonna have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then, I'll leave it to you. Okay. Oh no, I'm worried that we will see something bad. <gasps> Holy shit, she almost scared me. Like, I knew that was Ibuki, but... This aura. What? Ibuki? What are you doing here? You need to be resting. Hi. To tell you the truth, I have been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it will just trouble if I sleep all the time, so I was hoping I can help you with anything. But it's better if I'm sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It will be a big help if you get if you got better soon. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. Me 
Mikan is already aligned. That's good enough for me. Mikan's too focused on Karen for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mika. Hey, Mika. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as she focuses on caring for Nagito. I peek over Mikan's shoulder and say, Hey, Mika, are you okay? Tell me, no, don't tell me she's dead. <coughs> oh, thank God. Looks like you finally noticed. <coughs> Please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. Wet? Oh, no. oh, did you come by to check on Nagito? I just want to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? So no. Um, I hope I'm not mistaken. That would be really embarrassing. I are you by chance worried about me? Yeah, very much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I say. But she's working so hard, it would be better if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Yo! Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mika than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. <laughs> Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? As I expect, we wrap it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. They are apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So, on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Oh well, let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that, first thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. I keep telling myself that I saved one last time, and I slowly close my eyes. Out of the blue, a hazy sea began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time, hazily. Like watercolor paints suspended in water. Slowly, hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I have seen before. But I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted to Hope Speak Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm duly staring out of the window. Pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But I mean if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? Do you know? Huh? You know what? Apparently you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope Speak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from all around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run. To the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that way was possible. So he's the same too? Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents at Hope Speak Academy would be interesting. He's just a normal guy who can't be found anywhere. Well, admiring the academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who, mu who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just... 
I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyway? What are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? Yeah, I actually do that a lot. <laughs> my story of personal failure. In the wild world living, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write, to write a fake love letter to myself, so I could brag about it to others. I was writing about it to my friend, but unfortunately, I had lost an effort and fell off. When my friend wanted me to show him to read a letter, I was in a real pain, fine. So I showed him a black piece of paper and said, this letter was written in special ink. Only those just in my gut can see it. <laughs> when I say that you are out, that love letter is running in with passion. However, things start looking bad at the point. The other people around me start praising him because they thought that he really could read the letter. That's when he started hugging over, hugging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society! Now, he uses his followers to, ch to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mount, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful, what an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What do you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, when I like this face? <laughs> it's a pretty high demand. I'll give you a deal on it, cause I like you so much. <laughs> oh, poor Monokuma. Hmm. It's morning, huh? But, for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute. Okay. Mikan's voice is really hard for me to do. Um, well, so I, I won't repeat that. Yeah, I got it. I quickly got rest, rest and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although, I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Naito. Oh well, there's not to think about it. Why is Fuyuhiko with us? Nakito is in his 
teacher room. Please hurry and see how he's doing. Okay, I will by, my, by myself. Been a twin duo. Uh, the Veronica's. Is he supposed to be cured? It, it's not like he's he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical condition. Uh, 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 the Veronica's stood already a teen when this game was done. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> they were utilizing their characteristic as twins and they have been taking turns at bring before me which means they're actually oh my god 17 people on this island is, is this a Numi Neko reference? holy shit oh no I mean not <laughs> it was just coincidental I'm sorry for the Numi Neko spoiler <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> the Veronica's! That's the answer! Hmm. After seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed stay quiet for just a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm so glad! It's so really nice to regain consciousness! <laughs> I'm so glad! <laughs> I feel dizzy. Somehow, everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? So... If you insist, why will you still go wrong upstairs? You must, you must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. <sighs> then, I'm up there this morning. Good night. We can wobble around a bit, then left the room. She def she's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up. Uh. All alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. No worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. <gasps> yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Oh, okay. If that's how it is, I know he's lying. Morning Monokuma announcement she will be starting soon. I should wait at the lobby for the transmission. Oh? Huh? It's beeping. The surveillance camera and unit's lights blinking. But it's weird. It's not transmission time yet. Look at it. If the light is blinking, it receives some sort of transmission from the other side, right? But it's pretty early. We haven't even received Monokuma's announcement yet. It might be something urgent, though. If so, there's no way I can make the way to Fuyuhiko gets here. Alright, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reach my hand and press the, sh the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. <gasps> huh? Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly swaying dim light is shining on the back curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this light from a candle? But what was the creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop. I mean it, there was a step ladder. Oh my god, this, this became really morbid. It was like a gallows. W what is this? I don't understand at all. What's going on with, on that uh, at the music venue? <gasps> Maybe it's a bookie. 
and that's when it happened. What was that? The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging eyes on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and a handbag with their head. It's a bookie. Oh my god. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving and began climbing, climbing the step ladder. Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And at that moment... Huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black, probably because the candle, the only source of light, had gone out. H hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other end of the monitor. What the heck is this? What's going on? What in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over to the music venue. I rush out, I rush out of the hospital and run over to the music venue where the transmission was made. Just now, that was the mono, the morning monokuma announcement. Fuyuki Hiko should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I gotta get to the music venue. Um, it's this way, right? Crap, crap, crap. This must be Ibuki. Please let me make it. I rush into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. <gasps> it is a bookie! Too late? What the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue. I can't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why is it so hot? What is this strange hot air inside the music venue? No, now's not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? Huh? The body is covering an outfit. That's right. There hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody has noticed it yet. Then I need to hurry and let the others know. From here, the model is close back. There should be a lot of able bodied people who can help me there. I should hurry. I run to the model as fast as I could, trying to desperately not to creep over my own feet. Hey! Somebody get out here! As soon as I arrived to the, at the model, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. Someone. I was wondering who was making such a firm and what kind of speed was here. Gonda! Something awful just happened! Gonda! Tell me, do you intend, do you intend to support the Tajini bacteria so you can take holds down with you? Sasirika! I won't let you. If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. <laughs> What happened? Is there a problem? Hiding is not enough. It's worth some trouble. There's a body. We oh. Didn't you hear me? A body was found. Matsaka. Body. Can it be? Do you intend to spread lies like people? Not in the front of yourself? Hold on. 
judging me. Is that true? Oh, of course it is. Isn't it obvious? So no. Shaki, I've seen many of this condition, yes. This thing just has the same symptoms as him. Mm -hmm. But there is no way we shouldn't check it out. Because if Hajim is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? If that's true, we need to check it out. Yokaro. If that's the case, I will not stop you. Leave this place to me, and your feet is going ahead. <laughs> no need to worry. I will catch up with you easily. I know. That sounds like Fama's last words. She has to go go? Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Well, hurry! Yes. You fuck you on them for not believing me. Mikan, why are you here? Uh, help us, Hajime! Help us? No, no. Hajime, someone's coming from our door. Uh oh? Hajime and Chiaki? What, what are you guys doing here? Fuyuhiko, why are you here too? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Ibuki. Looking for Ibuki? Don't ask, just follow me. Oh? Music venue? Oh, oh it's a book going to be there. Hurry! Hurry! Oh my god, I, I, I really have my adrenaline flow pumping up. Oh my god, oh my god. So? My one has a completely healed yet. Don't let me run too much. No. The only way to know it's going is to go inside and confirm if that hang body is really booky. Let's go. I clench my teeth and reach my hand towards the door. Huh? Huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through here just a few minutes ago. What, what is it? This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? <laughs> I don't understand it myself, but. If it will not be the only thing we can do is force our way through. Mm. I wonder if that's going to be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know? It doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Uh. Let's go. We all charge at the same time. Ready? Set? Oh! I feel you hit the sign not to charge into the door of the floor. Bam! Oh, the door moved. <laughs> Maybe it will be easy after all. <laughs> yeah, even the two girls here. <laughs> Alright, one more time. I feel you hit the sign not to charge into the door one more time. Nice. It was like a live performance had just ended. The moments of silence just before the audience breaks out in thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <laughs> Hiyoko! Hiyoko said to? What? There wasn't just a hang body. There was also another body. A suspended body belonged to Hiyoko. I was so sure Hiyoko was going to be one killing. One of, one of the killers, not one of the victims. And why kill two people at the same time? Oh, 
転されました決定の操作時間の後、学級裁判を開きますおお、あんたつい、we have two ding dong bing bongs So both of them are dead 死体が発見されました決定の操作時間の後、学級裁判を開きます So both of them are dead Wow, fucking wow. So, this is not a Hifumi situation. Two body discovery announcements in a row. That means they hang the body with a hand back on its head. Hiyaka's suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. What is this? Kyukon. What the hell is that other one wearing the handbag? Masako. Could it be? Just beat the big teams? But, but when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hiyoko's body. I only, I only saw that hang body over there. Not even 10 minutes passed. But still, why? I sound like the growl of a starving beast to the battle lighting slowly descend. We descend enough for us to reach it. We all work together to lower the body. <laughs> now, I'm going to take up the handbag, okay? Yeah, Ibuki. Ugh. Even though I expected it, I still didn't want to confront that reality. Under the handbag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's all my fault. If only I had a better job watching over Ibuki. <laughs> You're wrong. It's not your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is... What is that? Hey, it's still like someone dying here or something. <laughs> How dare you call your brother, your big brother, the root of all evil? I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone? What the hell is going on here? So this and Hyoko? So the people have been killed. Nanto! Ah, there! There's not out! I have also summoned the others who were at the hospital. The others? It looks like another serious incident occurred while I was in here. Oh, dear Q? Uh, I can't believe they did such a horrible thing. Nagito, Kane, are you okay? Huh? Huh? Of course. What are you talking about the despair disease? Please, you guys, that stuff is still open. That stuff is totally over now. Hmm. Ah, who 
cares about the itty bitty details. And what hurts is that it's, it's already been cured. So let's go back to our main topic and proceed as usual. I'll be waiting at the class trial. Do your best to investigate. So, again? We have to do this again? We have no choice. Like last time, if this means one of us is killed, of us killed this too. Then we cannot let this be. Thinking like that won't do anything. We have to do this. <laughs> Don't do anything. We will all be executed. Oh, don't you over dependence on complaints this instant. This have no place in this world. But, but what about Nikolai? What's going to happen to him? Is he not going to participate this time? Is that even allowed? of the disperdices. There's nothing to for you to worry about. Are you okay? <laughs> Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. Since you have the liar disease, your after effects could be less, maybe. <laughs> Please let them come out to me. Everyone must focus on investigating, so I must do my very best. Yay! Alrighty, I will definitely bring back the camera and win everyone's trust. Mama? It seems we should leave Nekomaru to Monami. What about Garden the, the area? Do we still need it? I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. So... So we can end this nightmare for good. That's right. We need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did this. But for just to sake, we need to find the truth. And then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. Okay. I want to read the huh? file. Like, I've been putting it up with this for a while. But why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. It's because your clothes are so small. <laughs> Seriously, I can't stand it. You let you guys investigate this place. And so, guess we should left the music video under a cloud of grumpy compliments. But it really is hot. In fact, it's so damn hot. Why is it this hot? No, before that, I need to check the monochrome file first. There are two victims this time. Oh wait, we are in chapter 3. And in the manual of part 1, also chapter 3 had two more two bodies. It was the case of Taka and, and Hifumi. Huh, coincidence? I think not. There are two victims this time, Ibuki Miyara and Hiyoko Sayonji. Ibuki Miyara's cause of death was a crush or one pipe as a result of shocking. There are no other external injuries. Hiyoko Sayonji's cause of death was blood loss to do her truck being split by a sharp edge tool. It appears her death was instant. What the is this? I don't really need the cause of death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be useful. Too. So, I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Mm. Or was there a reason they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people? Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so 
私が突き止めてみせる。と思うよ。That's what I think. Seriously, I really prefer if she had a more confident sound in that phrase. Oh, oh my god. Pretty booty. Okay, okay, obviously, I do not have any kind of lead right now. But I think we cannot catalog Ibuki's body as a suicide because her. Uh, her disease or her symptoms of the, this her disease was to follow up uh, any order or she was more gullible or something like that they, they described it or something like that so maybe this person just told Ibuki, Ibuki uh, put this on come, to, come with me to the music venue put this on your head um, step up Step on the slather and put the the the, uh, the rope around your neck and jump or something like that. And you can just move it because she was told so. Someone must be giving the instructions, so that's why it wouldn't be considered as a suicide. Hiyoko? It's, that's really surprising because Hiyoko. I mean, Hiyoko. Is Hiyoko? <laughs> I don't know. I can't see any reason for any of the people left to kill both of them. She's the only one left that connects to those two to her friends. And I think this time Nagito was involved. Right now? Okay. With the leads I have right now, that there are not too much, and I will check on my pedal. I am a bit. Oh, you're good. Have a bottle of water. Okay, um, sorry, but according to my suspicions right now, Mikan is. I don't want to. I really don't want to. To, um, to think Mikan is the murderer because Mikan is my wife, it is him. <laughs> but. For me, she's really suspicious because she spent a lot of time with Nagito, only with Nagito, and Nagito. We know that he 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 he, he wants to be part of a killing. Just. What is it about? Notification for it. And Mikan being Mikan, I do think that she may have um, worked with Nagito. So he will fake that uh, he was in serious condition. So Mikan will be all the, supposedly all the time with him. Um, and nobody suspects anything. She will go, come, let's go and go as pleased. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I cannot say anymore until we investigate a little bit. So it, it is right now, it's just my bubbling here with no, any, any kind of idea. Uh, so, okay, people, this was very. Uh, I don't know how to call it. Uh, uh, kind 
of uh, unexpected session. I definitely, definitely didn't. I knew someone was going to be killed this time because it was time for someone to be killed. But I didn't expect to be two people. And honestly, I didn't expect it to be here. Also, I was thinking more like a Kane or Ibuki. Ibuki turned out dead. But oh, okay, okay. Oh god. I hope I can I can play this again pretty soon because I really pumped up about this case. Okay, so thank you guys and see you in the next session. Bye.